The YSL Rico trial is beginning to heat up massively. The crime where Gunna snitched on Young Thug is now being brought up inside of the courtroom as it would be reported. Jurors in the YSL trial just saw these photos of Gunna and Young Thug arrested in 2017 during a traffic stop in Atlanta with several narcotics as well as cash. The prosecutor says it supports the Rico conspiracy charge, with the police body cam footage also showing the arrest of Gunna and Young Thug on the ground. Now this is the famous crime where Gunna snitched on Young Thug. Gunna claimed that the illegal items inside of the vehicle were not his. The other man in the back seat of the vehicle also claimed the items weren't his as well, so common sense then points towards Young Thug owning all of these illegal items. However, it gets crazier as the prosecutors would then question the arresting officer. All right, so he's sitting on the curb. Um, Mr. Jones is sitting on the curb, correct? Right. And Mr. Kitchens is also sitting on the curb, is that right? Correct. All right. At some point, you go into the vehicle and you search the car. Right. You found in the... Mr. Kitchens, by the way, was driving the car, right? Right. Then it would be Young Thug's lawyer's turn to cross-examine the arresting officer as he believes that Gunna's vehicle was only pulled over because it was a luxury vehicle and another reason. Come out of... And, and, and you said earlier, you pull over uh, folks for window tint all the time, don't you? Correct. It, it wouldn't have had anything whatsoever to do with the fact that you saw three guys in a in a Maybach, right? Objection, Your Honor. What's the objection? I stand the objection. Your Honor, the, the state asked the question la yesterday as to whether or not he knew the race of the individuals in the vehicle. Objection. The judge was not happy with this question. Even the prosecutors then tried to counter the question on the arresting officer on the stand. However, the judge just got angry again. Parcel of the firearm. So if he's crossed about, yes, Your Honor, we covered this yesterday. It doesn't have a nexus. Stop trying to get into it. I'm still not convinced. So, he shouldn't testify about, about why he was there. It's not relevant at this point in time because what it does is invites and opens the doors. So I'm not gonna, you're not gonna do that. Now, this entire crime committed by Young Thug, Gunna, and the other individual is a huge mystery as we have all heard the Gunna snitching video. It's safe to assume that Young Thug is getting these charges because of Gunna admitting the items aren't his. However, Young Thug's father would just do an interview where he would reveal that Gunna isn't the reason that Young Thug is in this mess. Um, Courtney said, how do you feel about Gunna? I love Gunna. See, that's the thing. People don't understand the relationship. They got this thing saying that Gunner's a rat and he's done no. this and done that. No, but no. But see, let, let, me, let, me try to, let me try to help the attorney clarify that a little simpler. Okay. Gunner hasn't done anything whatsoever that can hurt us on this case. Period. Millions were confused on this, and it didn't even settle well with Lil Baby either. It's obvious that Gunna put the blame on Young Thug, which is why in Lil Baby's new song 350, he states the lyrics, and I quote, Ain't never said nothing about it. Boy, you know you are right. Now, this would end up going viral on social media, even causing Young Thug's father to respond once again, where he would again defend Gunna and then tell Lil Baby to stay quiet. How do you feel about Lil Baby throwing sh at Gunna for his plea deal? For his plea he need to shut the fuck up because he don't know what's going on. You know, he's he's going off of what he what he heard. Ask him, ask little baby, have he ever came to a court date? Oh, okay. See, that's that's what I want y'all to ask these damn rappers and these bloggers with this old snit shit and this. Did, have, when have y'all went to a court date to support Slime? To support Jeffrey? To support thug, who however you want to name it. Send, go on their social media pages and say, why in the f haven't you been at the courthouse to support your dude? And I guarantee you won't get an answer. However, the Gunna and Young Thug crime would be put to rest for the day as the prosecutors are now slowly bringing out their best evidence against Young Thug. This has really been affecting Young Thug while sitting in county jail as it would be revealed leaked Young Thug and Mariah the Scientist jail call being shared around everywhere online where you can tell that Young Thug is holding in the emotions that if he were to let them out, he would probably start crying on the phone. What's up, baby? Merry Christmas. Thank you. I love you. 
I miss you. And I love you. I love you too, baby. Thanks for my gifts. Them chains heavy? They heavier than the bracelets for sure. Mm. I miss you, I baby. Thought, I even thought the Cubans were mm. I said, I, I thought the Cubans were too. Like, mm. like, um. Yeah, like more, more, yeah. They 14, I think. I like it a lot. I'm very appreciative. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. I miss you. I wish that you could be at home with me and you could put it on me. It's very obvious that Young Thug is holding it down the best that he can while sitting in jail. However, he has the perfect girlfriend to do it with as Mariah the Scientist has also been holding it down for him. She's even stated their plans on a podcast a few weeks ago for when he is released from jail. Do you do you think that marriage is the next step for you, Young Thug? I mean, when he gets out of jail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think either of us want a jail wedding. Yeah, but I do definitely, I feel like he definitely wants to be married and I feel like I do too. Do you ever imagine life outside once once he's out? For sure. We talk about it all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all day long. I mean, I feel like um, being imaginative can help every human being on earth not lose your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it is like a, a, a little on. slight state of delusion. However, sources believe the reasoning for Young Thug being really emotional lately on that phone call would have been a result of the new information regarding street rival YFN Lucci. As it was announced just a day after the phone call, YFN Lucci will serve about three and a half months in jail, and then he will be released to serve the rest of his sentence on probation. As the prosecutors have been hoping to get Lucci to testify against Young Thug for several months now. However, Lucci has denied several times, which is interesting because other YSL members took plea deals against Young Thug, but his biggest street rival rejected them all. There have been so many rumors on the internet that this negotiated plea that we are soon going to see him as a star witness in the YSL case. What can you tell people there? Yeah, anybody that says that's a liar. Um, we all just went to court today, clear as day. There is no cooperation in the YSL case. He will not be testifying in that case. Anybody wants to subpoena him, will file a subpoena to quash that subpoena. He wants nothing to do with that case. He's made that clear for three and a half years. He has said he knows nothing and he will not participate in that case. And he's steadfast and through three weeks of jury, as there was hopes to get YFN Lucci to go on the stand during the YSL Rico trial, so then they can verify the lyrics from Young Thug that basically goes after YFN Lucci's mother. In Thug and Juice World's song titled Bad Boy, Young Thug raps the lyrics, I went at his mommy, now he no longer mentions me, as during the famous YFN Lucci vs Young Thug beef, Young Thug had several YSL members target YFN Lucci's mother's house with firearms. Well, he's featured on the song, so the song is actually by an individual, an artist that goes by the name of Juice World, and is featuring Mr. Williams. The song is called Bad Boy, and Mr. Williams says, I shot at his mommy, now he no longer mentioned me. Now this would seem again insignificant if you're just looking at these words. However, in this case, in the height of the 2050 between the YSL and the if we have cases in which individuals of YSL sh the opposition's mother's house. Mr. YF, Mr. Rayshon Bennett, also known as YF and Lucci. We have two incidents in January 22 of 2015 and January 26 of 2015, where his mother's home, Mr. Bennett's mother's home, or Young Thug could be getting emotional due to the devastating turn that can happen in the YSL trial within the next week. The prosecutors believe that Young Thug's team persuaded the YSL snitch Trontavious Stevens to no longer go after Young Thug. As first, Trontavious would go on to reveal that the name Thug in Young Thug's rap name does in fact stand for truly humbled under God. You already identified Jeffrey as a performer. What's his performance name? Young Thug. And do you know, if you do know, what, if anything, Thug stands for? Um, yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, Jerry. 
truly humble under God. And is that something? However, he would be getting caught in his lie from the prosecutors. As the report goes and reads, Trontavious identified Young Thug's song dropping jewels today. DA Love emphasizes the song doesn't actually say God. Can you think of a single song right here as you sit right now that talks about the defendant Williams being truly humble under God? Yeah, I'm ask you this. I will the objection. Um... A, n a number of songs on the the last album, Pump. Um, I mean, I ain't with the song, man. I was dropping jewels. He talked about God a lot in that one. Okay. Please tell the jury what part of that song talks about the defendant being truly humble under God. So in the beginning, he said, hey, show me why I'm... Um, Living, why am I remaining here? I know you weren't talking about nobody else but God. Oh, but did he say the word God? You're right. As with Trontavius Stevens being caught in his lie, it kind of confirms that he no longer wants to snitch against the people he is contracted to do it to. So now the prosecutors want Trontavius to return to jail for lying during a criminal trial. It would be reported, and I quote, DA Adrian Love's questioning of Trontavius Stevens about Young Thug's song, Dropping Jewels, is borderline trolling. Did you tell the jury that Dropping Jewels was about... Defendant Williams being truly humble under God? Yes. All right. And the line that you referred to, was that line that ain't no more reminiscing, ain't no more judging, no intuition line? No. Which line was it? The first line in the song, uh, sh to show me why I'm um, living, why I'm remaining here. Okay. Thank you for that. Is the line I was... Scotty, but not Pippin. I taught my son how to stack that to the ceiling. Also, a part of dropping jewels. Yes. Is there any part of what I just read that refers to the defendant Williams being truly humble under God? You said, do what you just read talk about God? No. As let me remind you, the prosecutors and Trontavius are practically supposed to be on the same team. The prosecutor is supposed to ask him simple questions to which he snitches on Young Thug. However, Trontavius is doing the opposite. The prosecutor is now exposing Trontavius for lying, trying to make Thug look better in court. If the YSL team persuaded Trontavius in any way to not snitch against Young Thug, even though he accepted a plea deal to do so, then Young Thug and his YSL team that helped in this would be facing around another charge of 7 to 10 years inside a prison. As this is extremely illegal and it's very rare you would see this in a criminal court case. As when you truly look at his entire testimony against Thug, the only evidence that Trontavius has given on the stand is that YSL does their selling at a gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue. A gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL associates sell. Are your initials next to number 13? Yes. Did anyone force you to put your initials next to them? No. 